Some apps don't allow you to upload directly to Dropbox from within them. An example of this is the app Pages. So I've got my file here that I've been working on and if I want to export that I use the spanner in the top right hand corner. If I select share and print these are the only options available to me. So there's no way of uploading directly to Dropbox. Except for the fact that there is. Uh, I can use this thing called Send to Dropbox to do it for me. So we're going to have a look at setting that up. So open Safari. I'm going to search for Send to Dropbox. And it's the top one, send to dropbox.com. Um, she's got a nice simple interface, uh, and all we want to do is connect with Dropbox. So at the top here, it's authorizing the connection between our Dropbox account on my iPad and send to Dropbox. So as soon as this comes up, I'll select allow, and then the two will be connected together. Uh, as soon as it's done that, it tells me I've got an email address here that if I email any attachments to this address, then they will automatically be added to my Dropbox. So if I now go back out of that, as long as I've made a note of that, copied it into somewhere. If I go back out and I go into pages again, so if I select the spanner to share my work, this time I am going to email a document because I can now email it directly to Dropbox. So I'll select it as a PDF. And this time I'm just going to go and put in my send to Dropbox address. So if I press send now, that will send the file automatically to my Dropbox account. This is a particularly nice solution for students looking to send their work back to the teacher. And it avoids the situation in Dropbox where students can see each other's work because this way we just send via email back to the teacher and only the teacher can see those files.